Daring Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about framing in single and double and double water structure. So, what are the framing in simple, single and double water structure? So, there are three types of bottom structure mainly they are transverse framed single bottom and transversely framed double bottom and longitudinally framed double bottom. Three types of frames are there or bottom structure are there. They are transversely framed single bottom, transversely framed double bottom and longitudinally framed double bottom. So, transversely framed single bottom. In this transversely framed single bottom, frames run transversely to hull structure. The frame will be running in the transverse direction of the hull structure and plate floors will act as transverse stiffness. The plate floors will act as transverse stiffness. Their spans will be reduced due to intercostal side girders that run longitudinally. But here the plate, plate floors will act as a transverse stiffener, but their lifespan is getting reduced due to intercostal side girders to run longitudinally. To increase the bending stress of all plate floors, that are flange at their top. So, here transverse framed single bottom, here the frames run transversely to bulk structure, the plate floor will act as a transverse stiffener, but the spans, lace span will get reduced due to intercostal side girders that run longitudinally. And to increase the bending stress, all plate floors are flanged at their top. Then transversely framed double bottom, another one, like transversely framed double bottom. So, it is, this is also the same like single framed bottom frames run trans transversely. It is because the single framed transverse framed single bottom like that, here also the frames run transversely, but this is used in ship of length less than 120 meter. But this transversely framed double bottom will be used in ship of length less than 120 meter, and the transverse is of solid plate and bracket floors with the transverse frames. So, here the transverse there will be solid plate and bracket floors with the transverse frame. And this will provide principles for the support for the inner bottom and bottom shell plating in this type of plating. So, the transverse solid plate floor and bracket floors with the transverse frame, and this will provide principal support in the inner bottom and the bottom shell plating in these two types of plating, two types of frame. And the bracket floors form the transverse stiffness of at every frame and they used to have 3 to 4 frame spaces, that is 1.8 meter interval. So, like I mentioned, here there will be having bracket floors from the transverse stiffness at every frame. And the plate floors will used to have every 3 to 4 frame spaces and at a 1.8 meter interval distance. So, transversely framed double bottom, this is also same like transversely framed single bottom that is the frame will run transversely. This is used in ship with less than 120 meter length uh, and uh, transverse solely freight floors and bracket floors will be have a transverse frame and which will provide principal support for the inner bottom and bottom shell plating in this framing. And the bracket floors for the transfer stiffness at every frame and plate floors are used for every 3 to 4 frame spaces at 1.8 meter interval. And intercostal girders or side girders and plate floors will have uh, high will have lightning holes at regular interval to reduce the structural weight and will have manholes to provide assistance. So, the intercostal girders or side girders and plate floors will have a small lightning holes at regular interval to reduce the structural weight so that we will have a manhole flange to provide assistance. So, like I mentioned, the intercostal girders or side girders and plate floors will have a lightning holes at regular interval to, for to reduce the structural weight and we can use it as a manhole to provide access. One intercostal side girder port and starboard side where ship breadth exceed 10 meter but does not exceed 20 meter, there will be two or fitter port side and starboard side where the ship breadth is greater. So, these types of girders, like I mentioned, there will be lightning holes. In the one, these holes can be seen in the one on the intercostal side of the port side and starboard side where the ship breadth exceeds 10 meter but does not exceed 20, 20 meter where two are fitted port and starboard where ship breadth is greater. Okay. So, here we discuss means intercostal girders or side girders and plate floors will have a lightning holes at regular intervals due to reduce the to reduce the structural weight and will have a manholes flying to the provide access. And one intercostal side girder provides port and starboard side where ship breadth exceeds 10 meter but does not exceed 20 meter and two are fitted port or starboard side where the ship breadth is greater. And longitudinally framed double bottom. Here, longitudinally framed double bottom, the frames are run longitudinally parallel to the keel of ship, and one intercostal side girder is fitted port side and another starboard side. If the ship breadth exceeds 40 meter and the breadth exceeds more than 21 meter, the two are fitted port and starboard. And these side girders always extend as far as forward and after as possible. Here, like I mentioned, there will be one intercostal side girder fitted in the port and starboard direction. Uh, where the ship breadth exceeds 40 meter and breadth exceeds 21 meter. That means two will be fitted. One exceeds if exceeds 21 meter and another will exceed the breadth exceeds 21 meter. These side girders are always extend as far as forward and after as possible. So this will be fitted from the uh, 40. There will be two 
two set intercostal circuits will be there one in the port, port side one in the starboard side this will be ship to ship berth exceeds 40 meter one and another one ship exceeds 21 meter then there will be two orbiter okay and the stiffness run longitudinally on the bottom plating are called outer bottom longitudinals and those the stiffen the tank top are called tank top longitudinals so stiffness the stiffness strength remember running longitudinally on the bottom plating are known as outer bottom longitudinals and the stiffening member at the tank top are called tank top longitudinals so here longitudinally framed double bottom the frames run longitudinally parallel to keel of ship but intercostal side bladder in the fitter the porter and starboard side and the ship breadth exceeds 40 meter and breadth exceeds 21 meter this will be fitted in porter and starboard side and side grid is always section as far as forward and after as possible and the stiffness will run one of the longitudinally on the bottom plating are called outer bottom longitudinals and the other one stiffened the tank top plating are called tank top longitudinals there will be three to four frames there would be plate floor to attach the support the longitudinal a bracket floor is placed at almost every frame but it does not support longitudinal there will be three to four frames and there would be plate floor to support the longitudinal and a bracket floor is provided almost every frame but this not support longitudinal and this longitudinally framed single bottom does not exist because long ship more than 120 meter require double bottom so yes like i mentioned in transversely framed double bottom will be seen in the ship less than 120 meter but this longitudinally framed single bottom does not exist because mostly above 120 meter we have like uh, as per solas rule we have double bottom is necessary so longitudinally framed single bottom is not in use so at each uh, each three three or four frame there would be plate floor to support the longitudinal a breaker floor is placed almost every frame but this not support the longitudinal and she like i mentioned longitudinally framed single bottom is not in use because long ship more than 120 meter required double bottom so thank you